वेलकम टू अर्चना क्लासेस नाउ वी मे स्टार्ट वट इज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बिफोर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट देर इज एन एग्रीमेंट दैट इज ए सेट ऑफ promises promises when two persons agree to do something with the consensus ad idem then it is a contract otherwise no contract first what is the difference between the agreement and contract is agreement a contract the basic difference is all agreements are not enforceable those agreements are contract they are enforceable तो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हैव मेनी टाइप्स आर ऑफ मेनी टाइप्स नंबर वन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विच इज एग्जीक्यूटेबल वॉइड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वॉइडेबल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अनलॉफुल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट के अलावा बहुत सारी ऐसी चीजें हैं जो हमें कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दिखाई तो देती हैं पर वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है नहीं लाइक ऑब्लीगेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए पोलिटिकल ऑब्लीगेशन वेदर इट इज ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज पोलिटिकल ऑब्लीगेशन इज ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट और नॉट द क्वेश्चन इज पोलिटिकल ऑब्लीगेशन इज नॉट ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वाई प्रिसाइजली फॉर द रीजन बिकॉज there must be an agreement between the two persons and the which obligation has been created by himself saying something to the public not enforceable you see and read in the newspaper daily i will if i win the election i will main sab ki bijli maaf kar dunga free electricity will be supplied to all up to the units is it enforceable if they don't supply is it enforceable not at all why it is a political obligation therefore there is a difference between the agreement contract and obligation do here we are concerned with the contract but we must know all these things because when you become an advocate the cases come can come to you and the mind has you see bigger horizons they can think they can develop new things they can make these obligations enforceable also how it comes how these can be made enforceable suppose you file a pil and uh, it is put for argument counsel argues before the court then it is on the judge to decide to what extent we can assume it as a contract or how this obligation is enforceable without the contract this is all depend upon the judges judges also make the law through their decisions because and what law is that law is known as kya bolte hain us law ko jo judge banate hain that is precedent but it is known as common law 
when you understand the common law, all law, laws and statutes are developed mostly uh, through the common law. Common law is nothing but a judgment law, which is pronounced in the judgments. This is the common law. Common law uses government also. How? Because executive has his own prerogative. They also make the common law. Like welfare schemes. Poor scrutiny button here. Common law. Hai. Government decide kar diya. Help to poor. Or so many things. So government and court don't know about it. Donoka president. Hai. Are they binding with the president? Is the government binding? Is the court binding with the president? Are they binding? Eh? Are they bound with the president? Suppose Supreme Court pass an order. Are they bound with that? If, if some other judge comes, there is a president on that. Is he bound? Is lower court will be bound because he has his own mind to express and to decide the things. He can give his dissent, a different judgment he can give. If there is a conflict of judgments, it will be sent to the three judges. Three judge bench, a constitutional bench, they will decide and then will be made reference. In it will be refer to the Chief Justice under the Supreme Court rules and procedure like. So when we understand the contract and the obligations and agreements and there are some pre-agreement things also, preliminary things, we ent that is negotiations. Before agreement we entered into the negotiations also and we negotiate according to our knowledge, our own knowledge. So knowledge plays very important role and every field expert, one who has knowledge about his field, he takes the things as such. Likewise, government also makes agreement. Under Article 299, Government of India, Constitution, Government ke jitne bhi contract hai, wo under Article 299 ke through hi hote hai. How they are executed? Either in the name of President or in the name of Governor, as the case may be. और आगे चलोगे तो ये एक प्रोविजन है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में कौन हु विल अथेंटिकेट द ऑर्डर्स द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स इट इज बाय वे ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स स्टैट्यूटरी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स और बाय द सर्कुलर्स और बाय द एग्जीक्यूटिव लेजिस्लेशंस इट because head of the department entered into the so many contracts to get, like PWD, their, their jurisdiction is given. Who will enforce them? Who will execute the agreement? Who will contract between the government and the company or the person? Or, and a contract can only be executed between the uh, juristic persons and natural persons. Can it be executed between others? Only the juristic persons and natural persons. We must, under, uh, nat uh, when we come to the juristic person persons, the very important thing is with regard to the state, 
authority, other authorities and the instrumentality of the states. The state is a very wider term under Article 12 of the Indian Constitution. The basic thing is what is the difference between the other authorities and instrumentality of the state? What are those? What is the criteria of that? Instrumentalities are those institutions, companies, societies, trusts or other partnerships or as a private public model Agya, wo instrumentality ke saath hi execute hoti hai how they come into existence public private partnership that also become instrumentality of the state meaning thereby it is a government contract how you will decide whether it is or not what they do there is a ratio of shares. The criteria laid down by the Supreme Court. If administrative control and finance more than 50% is of the government, then it is the instrumentality of the state. Followed? Very important point from the advocate point of view, I am telling you. Though it will not in the UC judicial exam, but you must have idea about this. Very few things and in very few lectures and in very few platforms you will find these type of things, these uh, type of discussions. Because now government is going to shrinks. It is expanding its horizons. They are inviting the partnership of the private sector because government is not able to develop the programs on account of lack of funds. How, how they come? And when we, you see, adopt this public-private model, then we can arrange the funds from the foreign countries also through their subsidiaries. Sub like you take example of uh, these tall. These are not made uh, by Indian partners exclusively. Sometimes we invite Japan. We entered into an agreement. Uh, you make this tall. What do they do? They enter into a specific agreement with the government, instrumentality of the government all. We will charge it for 10 years. There was it, thereafter, it is yours. It is agreement. Funds are coming, you are developed, people got, people got employment. And other people got services. A development of the a process development. It make the development speedier. How we brought the resources, therefore contract is very important. From this point of view, if we go to the contract to the personal parties like this, these are you see small type of contracts which we go on through this. So you under you must understand the policy of the contract, statutory policy and policy of the executive also. It is through the executive legislation and judicial legislation done. And this contract is done by statute, by the chosen people, isn't? Through elections, they choose they make the legislation pass in the le legislature, whether the state or the parliament. 
So you must understand it how we extend the horizons of contract. Rest are in the contract act. If you go in the minute, what is agreement, what is promise, uh, what is contract, how it is enforceable, what is the communication, what is revocation. You see me what is promissory estoppel, agya, contractual obligation agya. If you go, so my view is here the prelude to introduce here is only to broaden your understanding not only to the contract act but beyond that. Does it go beyond that? It is very broader and through the instrumentality of the state. What they do? They, they register, government registered a company and contract is executed between the company and suppose and the Japan. A government made the company. Is it an instrumentality or a company simply? Companies and societies are also registered by the government and full funds are paid by them. Then it assumes the role of state under Article 12 of the Indian Constitution. Therefore, we have introduced public private partnership for the process of development. When development comes, then only people get employment, social schemes, health, education, infrastructure development. Though we are getting slowly, slowly, we are developing also. Once we were develop, uh, developing country, now we are getting a pace towards the development. So this is a brief view about the contractual obligation and contract. I conclude this here. Now I will request Professor Jyoti to come and deliver lecture on contract. Act.